Um, could you just pop your hand up if you think you've been captured by video surveillance cameras in the last 24 hours? <laughs> All right, now keep your hand up if you think that a human being has actually looked at that footage. That's right, nobody has, because everything is recorded in the industry and nobody looks at anything live, and that's the first problem. Let me take you through a few other problems that go on in the security surveillance industry. First of all, it's massive data overload. There's far, far more cameras out there than there are people looking at them, and so everything's being stored and called up later. Secondly, when you do have people looking at things, there's a massive issue of operator fatigue. Studies have shown that operators looking at just two monitors, after 10 minutes they miss 45% of interesting activities going on. After 22 minutes they miss 95%. They completely <laughs> fall asleep. So the main problem with existing video analytics which are out there, and there are video analytics out there looking at um, video surveillance footage, is that they're not scalable, they don't work in very busy environments, and they're extremely complicated to set up. So, let me take you through the Isotana solution. Isotana is a company that has um, been created from a spin-out from Curtin University. There's some really smart computer science people there who came up with an algorithm for analysing large data sets and finding anomalous behaviour. What the software does is it learns from existing footage from a fixed field view security camera. So you've got a camera looking at a field of view, there's cars flying along, there's people walking along the path, etc. etc. Having gone through a learning process, which can be anything from two hours to a week, the longer the better, it then starts to go into monitoring mode and can report anomalous or unusual activity. So when somebody runs across the street or starts dancing in the middle of the footpath or climbing up a wall, or if a fight breaks out, or if somebody's breaking in through a window where typically people just walk past, it'll pick all those kinds of things up. Great examples also people falling downstairs instead of walking down the stairs. So, we took this software out of Curtin University in April. We've had a, a pilot programs running at three different sites. And to date, we've analysed 50,000 hours of footage from video cameras, and less than 1% of that footage is reported for um, review by security staff. We have not missed any activities in our pilot um, trials where the customer has said, how come I didn't get this reported? We've picked up things that they never expected us to find. Um, there's a substantial productivity lift. If you do have security staff having to monitor your, your video footage, it takes things from being recorded to being real time. It coexists with pre-existing video analytics. Other analytics would work by a different system. They don't learn normal and report anomalies. They look for specific issues like left bags or people crossing <coughs> virtual tripwires. It's a very easy to set up system and our business model is oriented around starting with the high end, which is the security market. We charge between $500 and $1,000 per camera for an install across a a particular rollout, and then um, in two to three years' time, we expect this to be a $100 download for your webcam sitting above your front door, running on the NBN and watching your front yard. Um, it's a massive market. There are millions and millions of cameras worldwide. Just in the city of London, there's a million cameras, and uh, we've got distributor relationships we're working on and looking for more and more partners in this space. Now, we're a video company, so let's have a look. Here's an example of a guy who decided he didn't just want to park out the back of the IGA. He wanted to enter the bin. <laughs> not sure why. It's not something you would ever code, but our software picked it up. This is a view out the front of the IGA in Rivervale, um, where an unusually large crowd is formed. So it's the type of thing that security guard might be a precursor to some kind of um, antisocial behaviour going on. Uh-oh, it's all crashing. Oh well, never mind. That's the technology for you. <laughs> That's a car which is just pulled into a one-way street in the wrong direction. You can at least see the arrow at the bottom. So the car's going the wrong way. It picks that up really well. These are guys walking along who uh, have got a trolley at 2.30 in the morning and uh, they actually go about tagging the sign and the wall uh, behind there. And this was 10 days ago a fire took place um, just down the street. It's a very exciting corner, really. And, uh, <laughs> and we picked that fire up within, within one minute and it was picked up on four or five different cameras, so at 2.30 in the morning, suddenly there are a whole bunch of alerts going off. Here's a car avoiding the fire. You can see the water on the street, perhaps, through that, uh, through that pixelation, um, and that car turned the wrong way down the one-way street. So, we're out to change the world. There's a screenshot of the software. It's out there and running, and uh, we look forward to the NBN being rolled out and uh, the right people winning on Saturday. Thanks, everyone.